look what we got. We got knee pads, eye pads. Uh. <laughs> yeah. I think the further back the better. What, further back this way, you mean? Yeah, yeah. but not that far back. That's too far back, isn't it? And the lower the better, I should imagine, or sort of try and get it in the middle. Um, yeah, I think that's too high, isn't it? Is it? Uh, down there? No, maybe go outside and hold them up on my bike. I can hold it up and you can step back and sort of look r r roughly where they're going to go. <coughs> We got these then. We're using the, we're using the book to get a judgment of where it is. Hang on, I'm gonna get the light right on the camera. You see the way this is, that looks a long way back. Yep. Right? But my knee would be over there. That's useless to me. If it's going to protect the tank against uh, my knee, the leathers, anything like that. I think it's supposed to be more about looks than, than anything else. Uh, you're low at the nose. What, here? I thought that line that in the tank is supposed to go through the middle. It's supposed to go through the middle of that. Well, you're not through the middle of that. I thought it was. Um. <sighs> yep, so what is this? Did you say about one and a half inches? Yep. Okay, what do we have here? Our knee pads. The other one's over there. We just slapped it on. Probably not a good idea putting on a white background. We've got a strip of masking tape in here because you want a parallel line. And in the book, it shows the parallel that the knee pad goes on. The bottom of the knee pad is a straight line, and the bottom of the tank is a straight line, and it follows that because I'll show you the book. There you go, let me zoom in. Hope it doesn't go blurry. See, that's the book. And we're going to do that. Okie dokie. It's because the bike's leaning over. Should we put a jack under it and square it up? Would that help? Not really, because I'm, all I'm doing is making sure the tape is parallel with the bottom of the, of the tank. Of the tank. And it's about, well the tape is one inch tape. And to a certain extent I'm doing this by an eye. Yeah, and we've worked, we calculate is about one and a half inches, did yeah, we? one and a half inches from the bottom edge of the tank. So the knee pad was going to sit on the top of that tape. Yep. Well, that's what it looks like. Oh, shoot. <coughs> Those bits. <laughs> Slippy. Ah. Who polished the tank? <laughs> okay. And oddly enough, the picture shows the tank pad sitting further back than I'd expect. But there you go. Yeah. Um, that's where they say it should go. Okay, yours looks further back than the picture suggests. Because can we not work out? We worked out it's about one and a half inches up. Can we not work out from the picture roughly how far, far yeah. forward it is? The problem is we've got no datum point. No. We've got a slight curve in the tank that we can work out where it is. But yeah, okay. That looks roughly right, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, the picture's not that far off as to scale, actually, is it? 
Hang on. Oh. Let me press pause and I'll have a look. You tack that on there. Because that would be the end of it. Do you want a piece for the nose? There. Or have you got a piece down on the floor? Mm. Right, what I'll do is I'll take the other pad. Ah, my book's closed because the wind's blowing the door shut. Hang on, press pause on the camera and open the book. More or less spot on to where it is in, in as to regards to the picture in the book. Alright, but that that is where I reckon it will go. Um yeah, okay. All I've got to do is all I've got is a picture of your hat and so I just stick oh. mine over. Right, okay. Right. And that's gonna come forward slightly right. and down a bit. Oops, that, that's it. Alright, if you move your hand out of the way. Uh yep. I've got it. So it's a little like that. And just put your finger there. Yep. If it don't work, we peel it off and stick more double sided <laughs> sticky tape, tape on it. <laughs> okay, I'm All gonna right. let go. Yep. Um do we mark up both sides? Um, well no, let me do one side. <laughs> okay. Because unfortunately I think both sides are gonna have to be done individually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We are all individuals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Monty Python reference, showing his age. If there's any Monty Python people left alive. double-sided strips on it, let me point there at that. Turn the aperture down on the camera. You'll get a lot of glare off your, your white pasty hands. Now yeah. oh, that's not good. <laughs> the double-sided sticky stuff is not sticking to the other stuff. I think probably because I'm trying to pick it off with my nails rather than... Yeah, that's it. How sticky is that sticky stuff? Is it a one-shot deal? Oh uh, yeah. Uh, see, the thing is, it's, it's a sticky substance on a something else isn't it it's double-sided sticky tape stuck to the thing instead of just having double-sided sticky tape that's just sticky on either side of tape that's double-sided sticky tape on a sort of sponge on a sponge and it's got double-sided sticky tape on the other side of that not the way i would have done it i would have just put single-sided sticky tape on it it doesn't look like it's good quality sticky stuff either Worst case scenario is you bloody lost one, wouldn't it? You'd be furious. Because <laughs> you can't buy them as individuals. We're all individuals. He didn't do the line again. Oh, there's a bubble in the middle. Can you get it from the middle? Not e No. That's right, I've got this bit lifted. Okay. Do you know what? You're not going to like it. What? 